My name is Nick with TransWest Trucks. We're out of uh, Denver, Colorado. We're here today with one of our new 2022 Western Star 4700s with a rival T7 Hydrovac body. It's going to give you a quick rundown of the truck, kind of show you some of the features and uh, give you the, the whole grand tour. Uh, so the chassis is a Western Star 4700 setback front axle. It has a Cummins engine in it, Allison transmission, it's an automatic, so very easy to drive. Uh, we're going to get into the back end of the truck here to start. Um, so this truck is a rival T7 Hydrovac. Uh, it stands for a seven yard debris body. Uh, so the tank holds seven cubic yards of material. Uh, it has 800 gallons of fresh water capacity. Um, this truck features a Rabushki 105 blower. It does about 2800 CFM at a full 27 inches of mercury. It's in a cube setup. So what that does basically, it dampens some of the noise. Uh, so the overall uh, decibel reading is somewhere between 82 and 86 decibels on average, right here at the loudest point. Um, unique feature about this truck, it has a four-way valve. So we can go from backing material to when we go to offload, we can actually pressure the material out. Uh, kind of a unique feature to rival something pretty neat. Uh, it also has built-in vacuum and pressure relief valves, so you don't have to worry about um, damaging the truck. Um, the filter housing right here, every truck comes with one filter in it and a backup as well. The cyclone housing right here, so this is where your heavier debris will fall, you clean this out every day. Uh, on these side and the other side, so there's twin 200 gallon poly water tanks on this side and the other side as well. They are gravity fed, so it equalizes on the way down so you don't have to worry about using one more than the other. Um, this is your drain side, so when you're done for the day, if you need to get your water out, you can just pull this lever, it gets all your water out of the system. Just standard toolbox, everything's been line x along the bottom, just kind of helps create longevity so it doesn't get damaged over the, the, uh, the life of the truck. This is kind of a unique feature as well. This is a ladder rack, it's dual purpose, so it actually first thing it does is actually protects the dig tubes and keeps them stored safely. Um, some trucks, if they're stored on the side of the back over time, they could fall out, whether you're on the road or, or, or going down the highway. So these keep them secured. This will actually fold down. There's a safety pin in here. We use uh, polyethylene dig tubes on all of our trucks standard. Um, they are a little bit more than a standard aluminum, but they last quite a bit longer and they hold up better. Uh, so those we've actually switched to on all of our trucks and they do really well. Um, the boom system is actually a six inch boom system and a, to a five inch dig tube. Uh, idea being that we get rocks and debris stuck at the dig tube rather than the boom hose itself. Um, the debris tank, like I said, is seven cubic yards. It has decant valves, so for the top and the bottom. It has a sight glass. Uh, one of the biggest uh, things that when we first came out with the rival, uh, we went off of weight a lot to know when we were full and guys just wanted to know like visually when they were getting there. Um, the nice thing about Rival and Formos, they really listen to operators and guys in the field with the trucks. So that was an add-on they did just recently with that, um, probably about six or eight months ago, and it's been really well received. Um, the trucks have backup cameras on both sides, so they face straight down the middle, but they split the view. So you can actually see the right side or the left side of the truck if you need to, and they are audio capable. So you can spray them with water, they're weatherproof and all that, you're not going to hurt them. The Raptor locks are a, a patented design by Foremost and Rival. What that allows you to do is be able to pressurize the tank off without needing wing nuts. So if you see some trucks, um, bobtail type trucks with big wing nuts, they have to undo those man manually, whereas we don't need to be able to do that with it. So it's kind of a nice, a nice add-on. Um, safety bar prop, we'll show you that a little bit when we actually hoist everything up. The truck does have safety idle down, so if you do have an emergency, a guy falls, or there's some kind of emergency, you can just hit the switch. It'll actually idle the truck down, open the vacuum breaker, and bring everything to an idle. That way you can handle whatever you need to. Um, again, everything's line X on the back. This is where all the mud and debris come out. You know, it's where you can just spray it off nice and easy. All the trucks do come with pintle hitches and air, air systems for the brakes, and we can wire that up with uh, whatever setup is needed for each customer. Uh, LED work lights all around the truck as well. Backup alarm, so kind of a really nice, well-lit, safe unit. Um, back here is where we actually stow one of the dig lances. You take this cover off, you can just set it up out of the way. And this is stowed out of the way. 
and it gives you a little bit extra reach without having to use the extension, so it's just a nice storage spot out of the way at the end of the day. It does have a grounding rod, so if you need a bonding mat or anything like that, the trucks are able to be grounded. As I said, every truck comes with a, a filter in the house and then a spare. Idea being we want everybody to clean the filters daily and be able to rotate them, so we try to set the truck up um, when it's ready to go. Uh, the hose reel has 100 feet of hose on it, and it is air actuated, so once you do extend it all the way out, you can just spool it in. Some of the other ones are like a spring-loaded one, and they tend to break down over time, and um, that's probably one of the more popular things for the guys. All your controls are manual here, but every truck does come with two remotes. So you have actual remote capability, and we put a backup in there just in case. Uh, if you do need to run everything, you can. All the trucks also do have box heaters in all of them that run off the coolant on the engine. So the back decant valve and all the boxes are heated. So if you're in a cold spot in the country, everything, you don't have to worry about it freezing up. This is kind of your main control panel to get everything fired up. So one of the nice things about whether it be at a foremost hydrovac, a rival hydrovac, the idea that less is more is a big thing. So we don't want fancy computers and sensors and different things. It's really hard to troubleshoot that type of stuff in the field um, or to be able to fix it if you need to on the fly. So there's really no computer in the truck minus, I mean, that just takes the receiver, which is for the remote and dials it into the body. The only actual link between the truck and the the body is the cruise control switch or the RPM, which is your throttle. Just allows the truck to be idled up and down from the remote. Um, but very simple, um, all kind of really clean and labeled, so that way you know we can diagnose stuff very easily if there is an issue. Again, more water tanks on this side, so they are all gravity toolboxes. So. All of our trucks come standard with the cold weather packages, which is a 400,000 BTU burner. Everything is heat traced that is gonna be exposed, which in this case is really only the water that's feeding from the tank into the pump. So this has a heat trace line wrapped around it, so you don't have to worry about that ever freezing. And then it has an actual glycol reclamation. So on top, there's an actual glycol tank. So you can run glycol through your hose line and your water, water pump and your boiler to prevent any freezing in the winter time if you have to store your trucks outside. Um, this is your water fill side right here and it goes up there's an air gap that's split equally into both tanks so filling is pretty easy um, your water pump is a inner pump or Prada Soli. that pump will do 3,000 psi at about 10 gallons a minute we typically standardly start all the nozzles as a six gallon a minute tip on them and they work really good generally we use Dynablast tips but you can use Ripsol or any brand you prefer and uh, again box heaters on everything so that way your pump stays warm in the winter time. And as we talked about, you have a six inch boom hose. And then this cabinet is where you put all your jig lances, washout guns, ring clamps, different things like that. More box heaters, more LED lights. So you can kind of see everything's neat and stowed in here. It's all kind of tethered in so you don't have to worry about it flying around. And then we're gonna go ahead and just jump into the cab. We'll show you some of the stuff on the actual chassis side of things really quick as well. So as I said, all the trucks are standard with Cummins engines. We can also do Detroit engines as well. Depending on size or what you need, we can kind of tailor it. They are all Allison automatic, so very easy to drive, extremely comfortable. All the trucks, one of the big features when we talk about compliance and weight with Hydrovacs is that of this seven yard truck, we can actually legally scale full of typical Hydrovac debris. We can't say it's impossible to overload it because if you had you know, full water, full debris, or somehow somewhere, somebody will always try to 
see if they can test that theory. But one thing we do to really try to ensure that is we have onboard air scale systems on the truck. So this airway system, what that does is it takes real time off of the steer axle and the tandems and gives you your weight. So when you get a truck and you know your local weight limits, you can set parameters to say, okay, I know I'm full at this and it'll actually read out the steer weight, the tandem weight, and then on your remote, once I turn it on, it'll actually display your weight on the remote so the operator can see real time where he's at. Um, then all the trucks have lockers, differentials, uh, everything like that, but very comfortable and easy driving here. Your backup camera system in here, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this on real quick so you can see when I fire this up. So when I flip this camera on, you can see that I have my left side view and my right side view and it's split right down the middle. Now if I put the blinker on one side, I can favor if I'm backing up to a certain curb or I'm backing up in a certain area. And then, like you said, if the guy flaggers back there and he'll stop, I can actually hear it in the cab as well. So just some kind of neat features that it has. Um, operators, when they're we're working on hydrovax all day, you know, having a comfortable truck to drive back to the yard or to the site is really important. So they took a lot of time to really make sure we laid it out right. And uh, yeah, that's what I have for the uh, 2022 Western Star Rival T7 Hydrovac. If you have any questions or anything like that, reach out to TransWest Trucks. Uh, our direct line is 303-301-7500. Just ask for the Hydrovac Department. So one of the things when Rival was designing this and engineering it, they wanted to make sure it was very user friendly, easy to operate. Um, so we're going to show you real quick how to turn everything on. So you pull up to your site, your truck's in neutral, your park brake is set. The only thing you need to hit in here to go to work is your PTO switch. You hear it engage, it's nice and smooth. And then we can go get everything set up and ready to work. So there's no transfer case or anything like that to switch around. You'll just move this vacuum to lever, to vacuum. And then we're gonna come around this side. Now in order to go to work, all you have to do, you put your remote switch to on, your water pump, R is for remote, M is for manual. We're gonna leave that on remote and we're gonna turn our RPM switch on. Now all I need to do, my remote actually, as you can see, is showing the weight of the truck currently. It might not be calibrated, but you get the idea of where it's at. So then all you have to do is take your boom, you can position that wherever you need to to start to go to work. And one thing I forgot to mention when we were walking around is this system is completely PTO driven, so there's no transfer case or anything like that. There's two PTOs that come off the transmission. One side is dedicated to just run the blower of the truck, and the other system or other side is de dedicated to the hydraulics for the boom and the water pump. So once you're in place, all you have to do is just make sure you are idled down. And then to turn your blower on, just spin your dial nice and easy. all the way up to nine, and you're ready to go to work. And then same thing to turn it off, make sure your RPMs are down, and just dial it down. And that's all you have to do.
Just wanted to let you know, a uh, brand new feature for the Rival Hydrovax, it's available on our T7 models as well as our T10 models, uh, is the new Van Air system. It's a dual 150-250 setup. Uh, what that means is it's able to run low pressure or high pressure, depending on if you're running it for tooling like jackhammers, tamps, anything like that. Um, or it runs to high pressure side for air, actual air excavating. Uh, this was something that customers have been asking for in different parts of the country or um, subsurface utility firms that are looking to be able to put dirt back in the ground. It, uh, it runs off the existing hydraulic system on the truck. So brand new add-on feature for that. We're just going to show you this setup here real quick and then kind of show you where the hose reel and everything comes for that. It runs the same way as the the Hydrovac does in general. Uh, you're either going to use the air system or the water, and in this case, if you have the Van Air system, the same control panel that comes on all the trucks. There's just one addition to it, which is the rotary control for the actual air compressor. So there's one switch and a dial to use for it. And then when you're actual in this toolbox here, is where your hose reel is actually set up and you can actually run your tooling off the truck to wherever you need, but that's just kind of a new feature for people that might need that option for whether it be at jobs or contracts or anything that you might actually need that set up. Again, available on the Hydro Hydrovac T7 and T10 models. Uh, if you have more questions, reach out to TransWest, our direct line 303-301-7500. Thank you.